Hey everybody, welcome to the OHERC. Today it is time to try the Rising Fighter back out on the track. I had a failed first attempt at this, so um, I got out, I posted, I don't know, maybe three or four laps. Then all of a sudden I had a lot of problems. Um, the, the motor seemed to not have enough power and it, it wasn't responding as really it should do um so i got it back in put it onto the deck opened the top took the lid off it and found out that i'd gone through the motor um uh cable or the motor cable had sort of bent a little bit and the plastic that goes around the um the motor covers the back uh around here somewhere had um had come loose and the motor had come loose which is why for some reason the connection just wasn't working properly so we have um I had fed the motor through that gap. You see that gap in the back there? Fed the motor through there. And I don't know whether that, because of the way the, the, the rear gearbox bounces about like that, had just managed to work it loose. So we're not now feeding it through the gap. We're just going around the outside. So let's remind you of what we're doing. Um, it's last out now, so everything has gone before it. Um, where do I think it's going to pitch? Um, down here somewhere, probably in between the Raider and the MO5RA, I think. Might even be, I don't know, down there somewhere is what I'm thinking. As we hop it up, I'd love to get it above the Mad Bull, but let's wait and see how we go. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. Um, so let's hit the track. I'll see you in a little bit.
Hey guys, we're back in. 8.54, an average of 10.35. I'm, I'm disappointed. I mean, it it is faster than the MO5 RA, which is what I thought it would do. The average is about right for where it's hit the leaderboard. Um, so it's going sort of right in between uh, that and the grasshopper. And I'm surprised it wasn't faster than the grasshopper, to be quite honest. But then it has got friction shocks in and all that malarkey. However, during the test runs, it was jumping the jump. And when I was doing the actual run, I couldn't for the life of me get it to jump. And then right at the end, I did this. So that got me thinking, does it mean that this might actually go over the jump? If I go round creation corner and then I just gun it flat out, don't stop, all or nothing, hit alpha elevation, it jumps. So then I thought, crikey, I better run this again because... Going over the jump is quicker than going around it. And if the car can't actually jump, which this definitely can jump, then I'd be better off seeing the lap with it jumping. So let's see what happened.
There we have it. That is the difference between no jump and the jump. There's a second difference in the fastest lap. And it was more consistent. That last block were all eight second laps. Now the 7.51 was hot. And that was a good lap. But that 7.51 puts it ahead of the Mad Bull, which is running a torque-tuned motor. And I said that I drove that Mad Bull well on that lap. This is a silver can with friction shocks. I'm only half a second off the times I put in with the TTO 2B and the TD2. I mean, that's pretty impressive for a car that is basically stock and, I hasten to add, has got bushings in. So, look, that was a one lap, yeah? The average it was running was about eight. So maybe I'm being slightly too optimistic of what might be possible in this car. But it certainly leaves me feeling quite excited about the hop-up series. Will it get to the top of the leaderboard? Can I get half a second out of it? Or can I at least get those seven and a half seconds consistently? I am really now looking forward to seeing what a difference this is around the track when I've put those hop-ups on. So that is what's going to start happening next. Um, well, it's not what's going to start happening next. What's going to happen is starting to happen next. I'm going to start building um, the frog that I've got to build. Um, and then we'll get this on the workbench, completely strip it back, gearbox out, wheels off, put the bearings in first, uh, and see if we can start improving on that awesome 7.51. 7.51. Crazy. Guys. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. It's a, a longer time trial video than we've had. But I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it was worth it. I hope you don't think oh, I've cheated. Do you know what? I don't care if any of you do because it's my channel. And I think that this thing should have gone over the jumps. And it did. And it put in a great time. Um, if you've enjoyed the content, please like and subscribe. Uh, please uh, comment below. Tell me what you think uh, of the Rising Fighter. Tell me what you think about the hop-up series that's coming up on it. Um... And all that's left for me to say is whatever you do, make sure you have some fun and I'll see you all soon. Bye, everybody.